Here I'm going to show you how to use the custom JavaScript module. This is a module that you that you use to place on your site where you would embed client-side script code such as JavaScript, maybe some special CSS or some other HTML that just isn't easily editable through the normal HTML system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add it as any other module. You would click edit this page and under feature you would choose custom JavaScript. You still have to give it a name and determine where you want to place it and create new. As you can see there it is testimonials. So now when I view this page you can see here's our new module. Go into settings. You're probably going to want to hide the title because this is really a hidden script. Um, there's a script URL if you were linking to a third-party script hosted on some other server you could do that. This is the script position. Again this depends on the instruction of, of the third party that may need you to say hey this needs to go in the head or the body element or the top or the bottom. Um, in this case I'm just adding something in the same position as where I'm adding the module. So which means the code is going to run in the exact place and content pane that it's being added. I normally don't add the script element around it. I like to do that within the code here itself. So I already have something I'm going to paste in. But this is some JavaScript and you may get this from a, a third party vendor or something along those lines. So paste that in there. Um, if you need it to be wrapped in a div or you have a CSS class for that, you could add it here. So then you hit save. And now you'll see down here we have this little JavaScript rotator embedded. And you could use this for any kind of any kind of code. It could be a map, it could be boy, really anything. This is a very versatile feature. Again, go in the settings and you have all these different options, and this is where you would paste your your code in. And we can delete it just as any other module. And now it's no longer there. So that's the Java custom JavaScript module.